Hey, good afternoon. It's Sabine. So this set of videos is a continuation of our last set, and we shared how the sudden passing of Daniel Matson was, in my understanding, a marker by the Lord to pay due attention to his watchmanship, his work, and especially to his writings on the Christ angle. And as I restudied his material, I read in his book that the passing of uh, Daniel Madsen April 17th would match with a 30, 35 day count from the total solar eclipse over the US that took place on August 21st, 2017. So just prior to the Christ angle. And this 34 day count in between August uh, 21 and the Revelation 12 sign of September 23, if we count 1,335 days from August 21, 2017, and the calculation is listed in the article, we land exactly on the passing date of Daniel Matson. So this may serve as extra confirmation that I believe the Lord is speaking to us, that the event he put forward is a really important one. So in the first update after the article um, was published in the video, I made mention that the prince's pathway of full redemption unfolds in heaven at sunset, both from the vantage point of Jerusalem and Giza. And Dr. Barry R. also shared this view and this vision in his video. So looking into the heavens in the direction of the eastern sunrise at dawn from May 13 to 17, and that is the time frame we have discussed of the departure timeline, at the 444 mark, which is the nautical twilight in Jerusalem on both days, we see the pathway of liberty unfolding for Princess Andromeda. And the constellation Andromeda represents those saved, but still awaiting the finalization of their red redemption in the heavens um, for uh, to be freed from being shackled. They are still shackled with their hands by Perseus the Breaker. And Perseus the Breaker represents Jesus as a breaker, a chain breaker and way maker to then be lifted up by Pegasus, the winged horse, into the throne room where Cepheus and Cassiopeia, the king and the queen, reside. So in the center, at the top, we can see the Northern Cross, which is Cygnus the Swan, and that relates to Gabriel's Fist and a Black Swan event, an extinction level event that is um, explained in uh, an article below from a couple of years ago. To the right, we see Jupiter, the king planet, in Aquarius, the water bearer, and Saturn. Saturn is associated with Kronos and, and Satan, exactly at the transition mark where the atonement goat transitions into the redeemed fish. So before we continue, let's take a look at that image. So at sunset in Jerusalem and Giza from May 13 to 17, this is what is visible. So looking into the eastern direction, we see this uh, window, this pathway of liberty and full redemption of Andromeda, Andromeda the princess. And the constellation Pisces was what was being highlighted on the right side in the Christ angle, because this is where Uranus was positioned at the time. So we see Uranus now in Aries, the lamb, a picture of the throne room. The sun is rising at this point, and we see the main players lining up in the pathway of liberty. We see the upright fish with the heavenly calling. We see Andromeda, the princess or princess bride, still shackled, waiting for Perseus the breaker to be lifted up. Here is Pegasus the winged horse and the Camellio Pardalis, that is the camel that brought Rebecca to Isaac into the heavenly throne room. And this is where Cassiopeia, the W or M shaped asterism and Cepheus are positioned. And that will continue until the end, uh, until uh, May 17th. So here you see the chained princess and she's gonna be freed to enter the throne room with both Cepheus 
and Cassiopeia. Perseus the Breaker and in the last scene we're going to see that one month from here the picture will change because one month from here from that same position and timestamp the heavens will speak of the safety of the redeemed in the time of wrath so after the great bull and the fiery river of the judge have come forth with the sun marking the constellation Ariga at the time the great shepherd holding an anxious mother and her two newborn kid goats and we see reference to that in the scripture cited over here and i understand this image to point to israel and the left behind coming to the realization of who Origa the shepherd fully represents. We know that both Israel and people who are either lukewarm or still unbelieving have no true understanding of who the, who the shepherd is. And Bullinger speaks of that shepherd and his continual rise in presence. The good shepherd who gave his life for the sheep became the great shepherd who was brought again from the dead and will soon become the chief shepherd seen in the day of his coming glory. In Revelation 3.10 and Luke 21.36, the picture is confirmed that the faithful and obedient will be kept from the hour of testing, so they will not go through it, meaning we leave before judgment starts. And we are promised to escape all things. If we look at the types which represent the bride of Christ versus the people who will be kept safe during the time of tribulation, uh, we can look at Enoch as the bride type who was taken before the flood because he pleased God and he was faithful and obedient and was called into a prophetic ministry while Noah, his grandson, were preserved through the flood. So this is the picture of uh, mid-June onwards. We can see that the uh, picture of Andromeda being rescued is no longer center stage, but the sun rising at the celestial silver gate is pointing to Origa, the shepherd, or charioteer. And it is my understanding that this liberation picture is then no longer at play. So today, let's start with the context of the timeline of departure, because Daniel 12, I believe, speaks of this exact location in the heavens where Perseus, Orion, and Auriga represent the three men at the celestial river in Daniel 12. And Daniel 12 promises that there will be a blessing for those who wait 1,335 days. So if you're not familiar with this chapter, I highly recommend you read it um, before we continue the video. So in the uh, presentation below, we can see three main characters in that area of the celestial silver gate three men i believe are indicated in the prophecies of daniel 12. so we discern perseus the breaker with his sword in hand standing at the celestial river um, which could either be the milky way backdrop or the iridanus river which is flowing from the belt of orion we're going to see what that looks like in a minute percy is coming to unchain andromeda finalizing her redemption and free her to be lifted up to the throne room to become a queen, which points to the people's barley harvest, the pre-tribulation rapture uh, of the forerunner bride. And then we see Orion. Orion is the coming prince. Um, scripture refers to all, him also as the mighty one and the son of man. So Orion, the constellation, points to the son of man coming in the worldwide rapture. The people's barley harvest, pre-tribulation, wise virgins, in addition to the innocent in Christ. So both children and the feeble-minded, feeble both of believers and unbelievers. And an article about children, the feeble-minded, and the rapture is included over here. 
it is from a Dutch website, so it's originally uh, written in Dutch, but there's a translation widget uh, on the site. So we know from Scripture that the Son of Man will afterward return with his uh, congregated, with his 144,000 Gentile end times harvesters to both rescue and judge. And below the article, you can read a reference to the two groups of 144,000, one in mortal bodies and one in, trans, in a transformed state. And the groups are mentioned in Revelation 7 and 14. And they are distinguishable uh, according to different features, but you can read about that below the article. So the third person we see at the river in Daniel 12 is Ariga, Ariga the shepherd. And I understand he's expected to come at the time of the wheat harvest, the mid-tribulation rapture, so after the first six seals are open. So here we see the first uh, man at the river, Perseus the breaker, the second man at the celestial river, Ariga the shepherd, and the third man at the celestial river, Orion the hunter, the coming prince. And note especially these three belt stars. And from its belly flows a heavenly river, Iridan, as we will see it in a minute. So Perseus the breaker, sword in hand, has overcome Algol, the demon star, and will soon free Princess Andromeda. And here we see Origa, the shepherd, and he's going to save the anxious mother goat and her two kids sitting in his lap. And then the coming prince, the mighty one, and that is situated right underneath Taurus with his club in hand, pronouncing judgment and having overcome the enemy. So this is the area what we, we are talking about in the heavens. So the sun has moved from Aries into Taurus right now, and next month the attention will be on this section. So the belt stars of Orion, on the one hand, to the left down, it is outside of the image over here, points to Sirius, the dog star, and the other side points to the Hyades, and a little bit further, the Pleiades. The Hyades are the called out ones, so the congregated, the wise virgins, those in one accord who have come out of the seven churches, the Pleiades. And this is the uh, river Eridanus over here, and it flows from the belt stars of Orion. And here you can see that depicted. So here is the constellation Orion with the three belt stars and the river of the judge, the river of judgment is flowing from his belt stars. And this is a really important image to put in your hip pocket for the rest of the videos because I'm going to get back to that a little bit later. Again, the river Eridanus. So, Orion and Ariga are the deacons of Taurus the Bull. Alongside, it, alongside Eridanus, also referring to the Jordan, the river of the judge. And Daniel refers to it as the fiery stream. It flows from Orion's belt, the belt of truth in the Ephesian six armor. Daniel sees this, this very river in his vision of the coming day when the true Orion shall come forth in his glory. As he says, I beheld till the thrones were placed, and on that was ancient of days did sit. His throne was fiery flames and the wheels thereof burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. This is the river of the judge, as he goes on to say, the judgment was set and the books were opened. So in the next videos uh, pertaining to the timeline and the Giza pyramid, this river of the judge will play a major role. So I hope to see you in the next video.